as a pastor who's pastored the same church for a long time. I've done a lot of funerals, and uh, a lot of them have been uh, faithful parishioners who have gone on to be with the Lord, and uh, those are times of celebration. But there have been other times when I've been called upon to perform a ceremony for someone that, uh, as far as anybody knows, was outside of faith and never made a profession of faith. And as a pastor, as a minister of the gospel, as somebody who's there to bring comfort to a family and friends, you're seeking desperately for some hope and some type of comfort that you can bring to that family. Because as I said on Monday, I said, I don't know about the totality of the mercy of God. And I don't know uh, about somebody who would take their own life, what might happen in those last few seconds of their life. I don't know. And so I'm always very, very conscious of the reality of my words. And I would never just stand up there and proclaim, this person is gone to hell. No, I'm not going to do that. I remember one time doing a, a funeral of somebody that I wasn't sure about uh, their faith and uh, their profession of faith. And uh, during the uh, ceremony, actually before the ceremony, somebody had approached me and said, Pastor, can I say a few words? And so I allowed it. I allowed him to, to come up and say a few words. And uh, his words went something like this. He said, this, pointing to the person there in the casket, is a good man. And I didn't disagree with that. I mean, I didn't know him. I was just asked to do the service. And very possibly, he probably was a good man. But the problem is, just being a good man is not going to bring you to the realities and the joys of heaven. Scripture is very clear on this. Because the word of God says that we're all sinful. And even to the point that it says that our righteousness is as filthy rags before the sight of the Lord, that we're all sinners. But what makes the difference is who we would ask to carry our sins to the mercy seat of God, and that can only be done by the only person who's ever lived this life without sin. As the scripture refers to him as the mighty lion of the tribe of Judah, he who has prevailed, he who has overcome everything that the devil threw at him. And he never failed. And he stands before the Father as righteous, who says, Father God, I died on the cross for that person's sins. Please forgive them. You see, that's the only way that a person can inherit heaven and escape the horrors of hell. And my prayer is that each and every one who's listened to my voice today would make Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.